in several uh, neighborhoods in Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, which has led to some 15,000 people being forced to flee their homes. Most of these people, he said, had already been displaced previously. According to him, the humanitarian community in Haiti should call on uh, all sides to put an immediate stop to the violence to allow safe access to the people in need and respect human rights and humanitarian norms and standards. A reporter Kirijit Jalo has the details. Since the assassination of President Juvenal Moises in July, the Caribbean country has witnessed increasing deadly clashes, especially in the capital, Port-au-Prince. Tens of thousands of Haitians are flying their homes, shooting and going gang violence that has been plaguing the capital for over two years now. This has significantly impacted on the community as access of health care facilities has been impeded, schools have been forced to close and the hunger crisis has worsened. Residents have also been cut off from essential services due to the gun control in certain areas, highlighting the crucial efforts of humanitarian partners in providing urgent assistance to the newly displaced individuals. Stefan Dujaric, the UN spokesperson, said, they are working tirelessly to respond to the humanitarian needs of those affected by the situation. Despite the security constraints, our humanitarian partners on the ground have begun to respond to these new displacements by providing food, hygiene and health kits, mattresses, blankets and sheets, as well as lamps. The World Food Program says its partners have delivered some 5,500 hot meals and some 3,000 people living in the three new displacement sites. With the, while the International Organization for Migration has started distributing emergency shelter material to more than 3,000 families. The UN official also mentioned that the Secretary General is deeply worried about the worsening security situation in Haiti and its impact on the Haitian people. The Secretary General is, of course, deeply concerned about the rapidly uh, deteriorating security situation in Haiti and its impact on Haitian civilians. He calls for an urgent action, particularly in providing financial support for the uh, multinational security support mission, which, as a reminder, is not a UN peacekeeping force. Uh, this force will need to address the pressing security requirements of the Haitian people and prevent the country from plunging into further chaos. He also calls on the government of Haiti and other political actors to swiftly agree to the necessary steps to advance the political process towards the restoration of democratic institutions through the holding of elections. The situation in Haiti has worsened since the killing of the country's former president. Violence has escalated, especially in Port-au-Prince, where armed gangs have repeatedly multiplied and are committing widespread abuses with impunity. Approximately 2 million Haitians, including 6,000 children, are living in areas controlled by these gangs. Throughout 2023, UN officials warned that the insecurity in Port-au-Prince reached levels comparable to countries in armed conflict. The level of gang violence is unprecedented, with over 8,400 people killed, injured or kidnapped, which is more than double the figure from the previous year. Amid unfolding situation, the gang leader behind the violence blighting in the Haitian capital has warned there will be a civil war if Haiti's Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, does not step down. Khadija Tujala reporting for African News.